The first question today is from Crystal. So Crystal is asking, uh, and I'm just reading my notes up behind, uh, why doctors recommend using sleeping tablets for short-term use only? Sleeping tablets that you get on prescription are, yes, designed to be used for short-term use only because they generally fall uh, into the category of what are called benzodiazepines, but I guess it's not really important for everyone out there. It's simply because using these kind of medications can, one, um, prove to be very dependent. So your body is really dependent on them. So what that means is um, eventually you'll, need to, you'll find that you need to start taking these medications all the time to help you get to rest at night. Not only that, that becomes really annoying. You Quite often your body builds up a tolerance to these things. So over time you may find, and in a lot of people, that you need to take more of this medication to get to sleep. And that's not the place that you want to be in. Also with this medication, um, they can uh, make you really groggy the next day as well. So that's why we limit it to short-term use of uh, using these kind of sleeping uh, meds. The last thing, and one of the last things, but one of the main points is um, they can become super addictive. So, you know, without realizing it, you're finding that you're needing to use this medication apart from the dependent side of it as well. And then when you start to want to try and get off them, so when you want to stop using these kinds of sleeping tablets, it can be challenging to get off them. Uh, a lot of people find if they get off it too quickly, some people, um, you get what we call like this rebound phenomena where you know, um, you're just not feeling too good at all. As always, I've always got, uh, you know, I, my whole belief is using uh, a combination of diet, exercise, lifestyle, natural medicines to help you with your sleep. And you've got many options that um, work really well to allow you to rest at night and to wean away from using um, the medications that doctors prescribe for sleep. Uh, the main ones that we like that I like to use are magnesium. Um, so the magnesium supplementation works in the high majority of people. Very safe to use. Doesn't make you groggy the next day. Um, some people also find uh, like adjusting their schedule of when they eat. So you need to experiment with that, and certainly come in and talk to us uh, about how that might be useful for you. Um, also limiting coffee. Um, you know, it sounds obvious, but a lot of people still have a coffee in the afternoon and wondering why they can't sleep at night. So we can talk to you about strategies for doing that. And the latest one, um, some people are finding that uh, kiwi fruits half an hour before bed work really well uh, in allowing you to get to rest at night. So there's a whole food approach there as well. Of course, we've got exercise, meditation, a whole heap of strategies where you don't have to be taking these uh, yucky sleeping tablets to allow you to rest at night. But please come in and speak to us uh, or speak to your pharmacist. And you know they've got, they've got the solutions that you need, not necessarily... Um, the ones on prescription only. Cool. Easy. So, uh,